Hey, Santa Brahms across the board. Let's throw that music off. So we can truly spectate this game. Let's have a look at what these lads have purchased. Sheen versus Stinger there. With Juvie Beads against an armor? Put the ar Oh. Now, all I can say here, okay, is the magic damage is just going to completely ignore that cloth armor there. Uh, I want to be able to see these guys' stats. So, 60 AD to 72 AD. And 300... Wait, what? Is one of them... Ah, oh, whatever. One of them is a little bit faster than the other. They're going just go straight at the auto attacks onto each other. Exhausts and ignites being burnt from both of them here. Actually, in fact, Matt was winning the trade and... <laughs> what did I just watch? Both of them killing each other. Oh, okay. They're going straight back. Is this... Oh, okay. I guess we're not... I thought it was just going to be the first kill, but clearly these two are uh, they're committed. They're going to go for the long haul here. They're going to go for the, the, the full-on Nexus kill by the looks of things. So, Cloth Armor being acquired there. A Johnny Fniper. And Ruby Crystal for uh, uh, I Don't Do Anything. So, just auto-attacking each other, of course. Unbreakable being placed by both of them here. Grasp of the Undying... Being a big boy in these trades, healing up a huge amount, and again, metaphorical winning with these trades. Why? Why does he do so much more damage? <laughs> this doesn't make sense. The build is wrong. I guess he went for an attack speed build, of course, with that stinger, so just simply putting out more damage. If Matty had gone for the sustained fight rather than just going for the straight-out 1v1 at the start of the game, he probably would have won. After all, he did have the pot and he did have the Rejuvi beads, so kind of put himself on the back foot by going for that 1v1 there. Could have just exhausted and walked away heals. Are allowed, I presume, then? Okay, that's going to be fine. Yee. <laughs> going for the 1v1 yet again, but this time Metaphorical is on barely any health. Going to get the stun off Grasp of the Undying Healing back onto him, and yeah... Oh, so close, so low. We're going to get the winter's bite onto the other one there first. Johnny Sniper winning that one there. Getting the heal as well. Rude wrecked and destroyed. And uh, Big Boyd. Move the chat over here, shall we, lads? Hmm, <laughs> Stinger. Throw that door against that fucking tower. Just going to fall down, get the X to execute off, I should say there. Very well played. Johnny Fniper appears to be winning this in CS as well. I, I guess they're just going for the Nexus then? Rather than just... Uh, fine, whatever. That is, in fact, a Sunfire Cape being acquired there. While on the other side, that seems to be the Righteous Glory components. I have no idea what these guys are building right now. This is so weird. It's going to be like a Trinity Force for Matt with a Sunfire Cape. Meanwhile, it's going to be like a Righteous Glory Iceborne. For Johnny Sniper having the ultimate there with the Ignite as well. Exhaust dropping down too. And that is going to be the kill. Just hard CC with the damage. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dirty. <laughs> Why is this happening? Why? Oh, God. And you know what? The heart is the strongest muscle, and if any of us take anything away from this, at the end of the day, it is that the heart is the strongest muscle. In fact, doesn't look like uh, doesn't look like this game might last particularly long with that amount of tower damage that Matt is able to put down there. Landing that Winter's Bite even through the minion line there. Maybe going to get the stun off onto him. He isn't quite in tower range, but the Ignite falling down. Johnny Sniper is going to be able to get that kill. Putting this at a 3-2. Uh, in favour of Matty here. Just bouncing back between those names. I should not do that. Um, why have we got a full length 1v1? I just don't get it. Whatever. 
So looking at the items which is going to be purchased. Why is there a fiendish codex? What is he building? What item is he going for? Unless they've told each other you can only buy the, like, you can't buy a full item and you can only buy components. Unless that's what they've said, okay? Then I have no idea what is happening right now because this is some weird stuff. <laughs> you know, I'm disappointed by both of them, to be honest. Biscuits haven't been bought. Uh, used, I should say. Picking up that hill right there with the Rejuvi bees. Putting in some work for both of them, but not quite enough. So he's going to need to get himself some of that sustained jumping forwards here. Auto attacks onto each other. That is the stun first for Matt Oracle. Following it through with the Glacial Fisher there. Johnny Sniper laying his down as well. Ignite follow through with the Winter's Bite. He is going to be able to jump away from that dodging Winter's Bite there. For Matt, when they have the same ability names, it's a little bit difficult to specify who's is who's there. So... And they have the same skin too, so I would have said it was a chimney, but they're both chimneys, so we're like, nah, what do? Actually taking the CS lead here, goes Metaphorical, going for the tower here with his Unbreakable, he's able to reduce a poop ton of Johnny Snipes damage there. That attack speed build really does seem to be working out for him, even though he is behind in kills per se and really no idea why this is happening Ooh, my, my. Uh, our clients have been super buggy today for some reason that's fine whatever metaphorical getting that heal after ta being tagged with the winter spike this does put johnny sniper in a position where he is no longer able to access those heals so we can guarantee that there is going to be a shutout and probably a dive from metaphorical here which means unless everything goes in his way johnny sniper will die and that probably will be another turret for him potentially even inhibitors considering as the attack speed build but what is with these items <laughs> Just build something, get bloodthirst or anything, just god damn. <laughs> that Sunfire Cape is so bugged right now. Look at the circle, it's like besides him jumping forwards there from the brush, ignite falling down onto them. Getting the stun first. Return for Johnny Sniper, gonna hit the door onto him. He actually wins that trade. What on earth? Ignite putting in work for him there. Huge trade for him there. That was crucial that that worked. Minions putting in work as well, of course. Now Johnny Sniper is able to go for this push. Probably won't be able to get the turret, but will get the execute. Which is indeed happening. Ah, he probably would have been able to go for the tower, actually, if he didn't go for this. Yeah, ah, but then he wouldn't be able to recall. So, Okay, reasonable. That's a Nash's Tooth. Finished. Nash's tooth versus an Iceborn gauntlet. A brawn with Nash's tooth. Why? But that is also the components. What are we doing? <laughs> He's chatting bullets. <laughs> Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Johnny Sniper's going to be able to get the uh, get the MR with that build, which means kind of neutralizing, in fact, the the Nash's tooth. I'm not sure about that. Nice minion damage, cuck. <laughs> oh, leap forwards. Oh, with the knock up there, Johnny Sniper. Going for this trade, metaphorical. Getting the stun off first, as always. Actually able to walk away from this one, so... Maybe he's figured out the secret to winning these trades. You get the stun and then walk away. Means free damage, right? Hitting each other yet again. Again, first stun following through from metaphorical. They're able to just dash away from this. He's, he's clocked it. It's working. His brain is in gear now. Just always land the first hit again. Winter Spite being tagged onto him first. Ignite falling down onto Matt Foracle there. Does get the stun off there, but he wasn't walking away, which means Johnny Sniper is 
able to tag him with that auto attack into death. That Sunfire Cape isn't doing as much as he really wanted there. But we have the Ites in chat. He's ready. He's prepared. He knows what to do now. He's gonna... It's... It's the ultimate move. Glacial Shroud being picked up by him, so that's... What hair product do you use? I like the way your hair <laughs> I think it does. What? What hair product do I use? I don't... I, just shampoo, right? I don't even know what the brand is, just any rubbish from any shop. Oh my my. Right. My big boy! Metaphorical here, 2 and 5. Not not repping the best scoreline here. Somehow still ahead in CS, but he is behind a level, which is huge, Johnny Sniper. Getting the engage off onto him first, follow through with the ultimate as well. Auto attacks back and forth, Metaphorical has the advantage in health on that trade, and actually won that. Thanks to the minion damage, there was a canyon minion hitting him the entire time, missing the Winter's Bite there, in fact. Unbreakable's just held up for both of them, Metaphorical with the stun yet again first. Somehow winning these trades, he only bought a Glacial Shroud, and now all of a sudden just free money for him here. Exhaust and Ignite is available for him as well, Ignite dropping down there, and the Exhaust too. Maybe not necessary for the exhaust there, not being used by Johnny Sniper, so Metaphorical finally finding the return kill. 3 and 5 now. Not as bad a scoreline as it was before. Should be able to hammer right the next turret very nicely. Might be able to, in fact, get it. Do you always wear polo shirts? <laughs> no? I went to London today, and I was like, I'm going to wear a polo shirt. No, I do usually wear a Keely sports jersey. It's metaphorical. Uh, yep, yeah, okay, going to be able to pick up that turret whilst the, uh, the client is bugging out yet again. Bit of a disrespectful chuckle at him there. Could have been potentially a good opportunity to go for the trade there, in fact, whilst he had the mini wave. But that is a Bramble Vest purchased by Johnny Sniper. Good purchase. In my opinion, of course, they have to fight each other here. So it's always guaranteed that that one second... Uh, grievous Wound, that's the word I was looking for. That, that one second Grievous Wound will deny the heal from grasp, uh, grasp of the Undying. So potentially might be able to swing the fights here. But it is an armor item on this Nash's Tooth Braum. So... Maybe not that that useful. Get him, Matt. Oh, he said a rip and chat. Okay. Hammering back and forth. Still the level advantage here for Johnny Sniper, though. Dropping down the Glacial Fisher. Getting the sun off first. Not going to be returned there. So, Matt did lose the trade, in fact. Again, going for the Unbreakable. Winter's Bite. Stun. Walking away from this. Glacial Fisher knocking him up. Minion Wave not being in his favor here. Ignite dropping down onto him too. Exhaust is almost going to be available there for Metaphorical, but it doesn't really matter. Backing away into the hills there. He's probably going to run for the hills for the second heal, in fact. Winter's Bite is going to tag him. His summoners are now both back up. He's going to have to go for the Miracle Play here whilst the minions are hammering down on him. Bramble Vest wasn't able to deny any of the healing there, and that is going to be tagging each other yet again. Unbreakable being used. He's just going to run to try and get some damage down onto this inhib. <laughs> Twirling around this. <laughs> Matty, going to pick up the kill there. This is, this is awful. I like how clean your room is. Oh, thank you very much. You can barely see my room, but thank you. Ooh, my, my. Stop. Why am I stopping the stream? <laughs> Stop the stream. I think someone might have potentially lost and they don't want anyone to see. I don't know, maybe. Looks like uh, that Bramble Vest did actually put in the work that was necessary. Uh, Kindle Gem being acquired there. That Spirit Visage also complete for Matty. Huge increase in healing on his Grasp of the Undying and deny of the damage from the Nash's Tooth there. Both of them are 
Just going to absorb that Glacial Fissure with the Unbreakable, of course. Auto attacks back and forth. Ignite dropping down from Metaphorical there to try and stop this healing. But again, the Spirit Visage putting in huge amounts of work. And this is some serious support combat right now. Johnny Sniper even just hitting the minions there for a little bit. And now probably going to be able to look for this Inhib. And if not, go for the kill. Running out of mana there. That Iceborne Gauntlet. It, it only serves you a certain amount. Metaphorical. He realizes he has to go for this. Trying to use the Sunfire Cape to block out the minions. But Johnny Sniper <laughs> potentially going to be able to dash forwards here for the kill onto him. If he tags him with a Winter's Bite, that's probably game. Clearing out these minions. Those Nexus turrets might be able to help him out on this. But minions doing so much damage. You're tagging him yet again with the Winter's Bite. Ignite falling through there. And if I speed this game up, because for some reason... Even though I'm watching it live, there is a future to the game. Johnny Sniper just going to be hammering away at these turrets. And, uh... Oh, oh, oh no. My my client. It is... Oh no, my client crashed. Oh. Oh no. What, what happened? Oh. We don't get to see the end of the game. This is shame. Oh no. Nobody won, I guess. Damn it. Who's the poster in the background? Katarina. Wait. Oh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. If you ever played Theme Hospital, that's a fun game. Missed the comeback, man. I got first kill and tower. I think it's Gucci. Well, I mean, we didn't see who won the game, Matt. So, at the end of the day. Uh, I think it's quite clear. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that will be us for today. Join again tomorrow for the session.